Hi guys, it's Rob McKillop here. This video is really for guitar players who want to play Baroque music on the guitar. And um, for a long time people have played Renaissance music on guitar just by tuning the third string down a semitone. And you have basic Renaissance lute tuning. Um, Baroque lutes are much more complicated. Uh, we have a D minor chord and then we have lots of extra bass notes. Uh, which are usually open strings. Now guitarists have um, tried to do this by having multi-string guitars up to 13 or 14 single strings. Now I really don't believe the figure of eight shape of a guitar is conducive to these low notes. Um, I think the lute shape uh, with the bowl is a much better shape and the shape of the soundboard, the whole thing, the lute guys really understood low notes, how to articulate them well. And they would have a, a bass note with a, an octave note higher right next to it, so you get pairs of strings. Uh, the reason for this is uh, maybe a gut string on its own uh, will sound a bit lifeless in the low regions, so they paired it with an octave to bring out the upper partials. Now, uh, modern strings can do that. Um, here's a lute with uh, modern strings, so you get uh, a wine string. Of course, wine strings were begin beginning to get around around about 1700. Uh, they were invented earlier, of course, but they started becoming more used around that time. And some of the later lutes would have used wine strings, but they were manufactured differently from today, uh, sounded different. Um, so, you know, getting a, a lute is really important uh, for guitars, but there are problems for guitar players. Uh, very often lutes have too many strings and uh, it becomes difficult for them to play. Uh, we've got every string will be pair strings, that's double the amount that you need. Well, you can reduce it to single strings. Now, there were single string lutes uh, in the past, these are theorbos. Sometimes the lower half of an arch lute would be single strung. Um, some theorbos were double strung, that's true, but uh, some were single. Um, and uh, this is something that some modern lute players have tried to um, take over onto the lute. So we have uh, professional lute players today out there making recordings, doing concerts, who play lutes with single strings. Um, I'm thinking of Luciano Contini in Italy, Thomas Dunford in France, uh, David Taylor in America. Um, you can find their videos all over YouTube. Um, Ron McFarlane, is, uh, he has double strings on his uh, fingered courses, but he I've seen him a picture with a, a lute with single course bass strings. Um, so it's, it's something that people have been playing with for quite a while now, and your opinions about that might be a pro or contra. Um, but uh, there's something about it that I find very attractive. And I think for guitar players, this is something you should give consideration to. Now this lute is from Leluth Dore Company. Uh, incredible value for the price, I really recommend them. Um, I asked Miguel, who runs the company, if I could uh, string this in 13 course lute, which I use as an 11 course by the way, I don't use this uh, extension here. It's an 11 course instrument to me. I asked him about using single strings and he said um, you know, you will need to raise the tension because when you take off one of the strings for 11 courses, uh, the tension is going to go down quite a bit. So you have to take off all the strings and put on a higher tension set. Now, Miguel can do that for you. He uh, sells the strings and he's worked out all the tensions. Um, you can have a very high tension. His, his lutes are constructed that they can take six or seven kilograms of tension. Um, this uh, the tension I have here is medium, so it's around about four to four point three uh, kilograms, and uh, it's tuned at four fifteen pitch. If you're a guitarist, you know maybe uh, worried about moving away from four forty pitch, 
you don't have to, you can stay at 440. Simple as that. Um, these days, loop players do ten, tend to tune to 415, 440, 415, or even 392, which is down a tone. 415 is a semitone lower, 392 a tone lower. Um, a lot of people who play uh, French Baroque music um, like to tune to 392. Uh, at the moment I'm at 4.15, but I might well try it down at 3.92. Um, so things to think about when you're putting on single strings. They'll cost you about 50 euros or so for a, a set of strings, but they will last for a long time, years even. So uh, it's a, a good investment. Um, these are Aquila strings I got from uh, Lulu Story. Um, when you put them on, of course, the, the bridge has double holes for the courses. I found that to get a good string spacing between each string, I'm putting the the bass note where the higher string would have been, uh, the high octave string. If uh, the hole is big enough, and it, it is uh, on this lute, um, I was able to put uh, the bass strings into the, the high octave strings. And I've got a reasonably good uh, distribution of notes, uh, of strings there. Uh, for the right hand. Um, I'll put the nut. Um, I haven't grooved uh, uh, made any more grooves into the nut, uh, but again I've used the, the bass notes apart from this one. The bass notes over where the treble strings would be. And uh, that's given me uh, a really good distribution up here. So um, I don't have any problems with that. Um, so that's the, the, the technicalities. You, you have to learn to read tablature, and uh, it's a good thing because there are literally thousands of pieces. And uh, you can buy uh, facsimile editions, that's so you can see the original notation, or you can uh, buy, or sometimes download, um, uh, modern editions. Uh, again, the little story of these very clear editions. Uh, a good tutor is. Um, by Miguel Cerdura, and uh, I recommend that. That's Ut Orpheus, U T Orpheus uh, editions. Uh, I'll put a link up. Um, it's a really thick volume on uh, how to play a method for uh, playing the Baroque lute. Uh, it's in French, and there's a different publication in English, so it's not bilingual, either by the French or the English edition. Um, well worth doing. Um, Okay, uh, what else have I got? Um, I think I've just, uh, covered most things. Uh, I'm going to play now so you can hear um, a single strung baroque lute, see what you think of it. Uh, the strings are quite new. I should maybe wait another week or two, but uh, I have the time now to do it. Because um, I like the, when the strings die down a little bit. But uh, we'll see what you think of it. Um, I think it sounds magnificent. It's much louder than the lute was as a, a solo, uh, as a double strung lute. Uh, so that's a consideration you might appreciate. Um, and that's one of the reasons I think a lot of players are playing uh, single strung lutes now that you can, you have to use higher tension strings and that pushes the soundboard a bit more and you get more volume out. Um, Okay, I'm going to play some uh, French Baroque music. It's by Enemont Gautier. Uh, it's a tombeau de mésanger, uh, an allemand. The tombeau was a, 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 you know, a tomb piece, tombeau, <laughs> um, written in memory of a dearly departed, in this case a, a lute player called mésanger. Um, it's in D minor. Remember, this is D minor tuning. Um, just briefly mentioning tunings, there was a period when they experimented with tunings between what we call Renaissance tuning and Baroque tuning. Um, there was a period when there's uh, 30 or more different tunings. It's a bit like steel string guitar players today playing in Dad Gad or Open D, Open G or something. You had all these different tunings. Um, now in the Balcaris manuscript from Scotland, um, they talk about tuning up the way. So one of the tunings is the, the highest highest tuning on the lute. So they were tuning higher. Most people today tune downwards uh, for these alternate tunings. 
But with the, the D minor tuning, you only need to change two or three strings for a lot of these tunings uh, by tuning them upwards a semitone or a tone. That's why I've gone for medium tension rather than high tension. Also, I don't play with nails. If you want to play with nails, then uh, you can go for a higher tension string. Uh, ask Miguel about that. Um, I play with the flesh. So I like low tension. I might even, as I said, put this down to 392, and then I can tune up to various uh, alternate tunings. Uh, much harder to do with gut strings, <laughs> and much harder to do with double strings. Uh, trying to keep them in tune is a nightmare, believe me. I've been there. I know what I'm talking about, <laughs> uh, on, a, on good lutes as well. Um, so here it goes. Uh, it's worth a, a ch you know an experiment. The figure of eight shape of guitar is not great for these extended bass registers. Go for a lute shape, buy a lute, and uh, string it single strings if you like, and uh, you'll enjoy it, I'm sure. Okay. Thank you. 